Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first one, I will use this stock image. And let's import here. Then press S, change scale. Let's move to here. And let's lock layer. Then go to shape layers. Hold this icon. Select ellipse tool. Let's zoom to here. And let's hold shift. Make ellipse like this. Click section 2. Go to stroke. Click here. Select none. Click OK. And let's move to here like this. Okay, let's change shape layer name 1. And let's control D. Let's move to here. And let's hold control, double click pan behind icon for move to anchor point center. And also select this, hold control, double click pan behind icon. Click session tool. And let's select this shape layer, again control D. Move to here. Again control D, move to here. And let's make more duplicates for like this heart. Okay, that's good. So right now we can delete this stock image. Okay, so let's go to pen tool and click fill, select none, go to stroke, let's change stroke 5, let's select white. Okay, let's zoom to here and let's add one point here, one here and here. Here and here. Let's make like this. Okay, finally, let's click for close stroke line. Okay, so in this time, click session tool and change this line. Open inside, open contents, shape 1, select this pad, let's right mouse and click on group shapes. Open pad 1, select pad, go to window and click create nodes from pad. Ok, then select this pad and click points full of nodes. Nice. Let's close window. And right now I can move these parts with null object. Very good. So in this time, let's see numbers. Let's see first this. Let's click layer name. We can see here null names. Let's search start to finish layer names. Okay, this is null. Where is first null? Okay, so let's change names. Select this null, change one. And this null, change two. And these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, this is for link objects. And don't forget change this. Wait, please select fifteen and this. 16 and 17. Let's select these two null objects. Move to behind here. Okay. So in this time, let's make links. Let's change timeline and select layer 1. Okay, this. And let's link to 1. Select layer 2. Link to null object 2. Select shape layer 3. Link to 3. And 4, link to 4, 5, and 6. So, let's see. Select this controller. Let's see. Nice. Very good. So, in this time, let's select this controller 1. And press P. Let's add expression. Hold Alt, click this time icon, 
and right here we go 3 10 click this empty title for don't expression let's see nice and let's edit this expression and copy open other controllers and paste like this okay very good let's add layer 3 make someone and controller 4 again press p hold alt click time icon control v let's see okay very good so and let's select this lion move to behind ellipse tools like this very good so let's make this expression for other controllers okay after past these expressions let's close settings and let's animation okay very good so right now let's make conversations select all these layers and right mouse precoms add name dots one and click move all attributes click ok and let's see ok nice then go to fx presses search fx echo and select let's use for this conversation then change echo time one let's say animation ok very good so we can change echo time to like this but one is better or let's try change zero that seven okay that's good so don't change any settings and let's create new background new solid add name background and click ok move to behind go to gradient ramp Go to FS Presses, search Gradient Ramp and let's use for this background solid layer and change start color dark blue click OK change in color like this click OK and change ramp shape radial ramp and change swap colors and move to down these points like this Okay, we can change this with the bit for epic background. Click OK. Then select this background. Let's control D for duplicate. Change name grid. And select grid solid. Delete gradient ramp. And go to FS presses search effect grid. Select grid from generate. Let's use for this grid solid layer. And change size from width slider and change slider like this and change opacity okay let's change 6 nice and select this dot let's go to fx presses search fx glow select glow let's use for these dots and change glow like this we can play glow settings for better results and let's open dots one let's select this line go to stroke color change blue let's back to main composition nice and let's select this glow Control d for duplicate for more glow effects okay that's good let's change some settings okay not bad and select this dots conversation let's control d press s chain scale again control d press s chain scale for infinite animation again control d press s chain scale and for random animation let's select these conversations move to right with the bit and go to here let's change quality quarter and go to here let's press b for select work area select in and go to here 
Let's click in. For out workspace and right mouse select trim comb to work area. Let's animation. Okay, very good. So friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.